Now it's time for our two victors from our first round of fixtures to go face to face. Sean Jibberfield and Shane Thompson drew two frames each. It leaves their qualification chances hanging by a thread. They can still qualify. They need this result to be a draw. If either Gareth or Sean win, Shane Thompson and Sean Story are out. Big match this. Plenty of consequences, not least to the winner, because they know if they win it, they simply need not to lose their last match and they can take their place in the final four. Tough chance for Gareth to start off with, red and yellow together at the top, although he had a quick look at all the balls in the bottom half of the table and they all go, they all have a pocket. So this is a key shot. Oh, what a good shot it is. I'm not sure how nicely that's come out for him. It still looks very tight. I think it goes. I think it, he may decide it could be a last ball. It depends on what he's fancying to get onto the eight ball. He could use the one to right centre to connect down the table if he has the angle and then leave that up there as a guaranteed way of getting on the eight ball. He may choose to get it out of the way now and back himself to leave a good angle, possibly right centre to come across the table to get on the eight as well. There's a few options out there for him, but the hard work in the finish in terms of at least opening up pockets is done. It's a really amazing shot that actually for him, Gareth, because you saw the cue ball arc its way into that red and yellow. You've got to pace that shot really, really well to allow the, the spin to grip. It was a very unnatural shot that he played. Won't be left till last, though, as you suggested. It will be taken off the table now. Yeah, that, that's quite nice. He would maybe needs to be. Well, it looks like the, the way he's happy here tells me that he he feels he can just about just drop this in. I do think he's think now thinking right center. As long as he's low of straight, he can just stun across the table where there's acres of room. what he's coming around to check out now. What's the angle he needs? How far is too far in terms of up the table? Looks like it may have gone a touch too far here. It's just about OK. Yeah, if he's pinching pockets, he's not got a huge amount of room to do it. You don't really want to be powering him into the middle either. This is way too straight. Oh, he's done very well. That's such a better shot than yeah. it looks. <laughs> yeah. Can't stress how that looked much a better shot than that looked. Naked eye, that looked absolutely straight. And forcing it on the centres is not ideal. Excellent. Yeah, that's a really classy visit to the table. Gareth Potts goes 1-0 in front off the first opportunity. Look at that, that went right off the the left-hand jaw as we look from the overhead. And the thing is with these middle pockets, when you play them at that sort of pace, any sort of significant contact with the jaw and it's, it's staying up and even to be fair at pace yeah. with a little bit of side if you go too much into the side of the pocket they do have a really horrible tendency to maybe roll around the back and spit back out it's a really good shot he's just played there yeah laced was, with danger yeah i was surprised how much he allowed that cue ball to come up the table because normally in those situations you err on the side of leaving it too short than too long because you know you're guaranteed a shot at, at the uh, eight ball, but just about got there. Excellent. Oh, this time the cue ball stays up. Yeah, he came across this one as well. This is very similar to his opening break of the, of the night. Watch the spots on the cue ball here and the path of it. You can see how much he comes across it, just with the, the spots. <laughs> Face of Sean means the <laughs> apologetic hand of Gareth. Yeah, I, I know, <laughs> I know. Not an amazing layout for him though. Does the red nearest the brake line pass to the top red at right? Well, the fact he's taking yellows probably tells us not. So now it's oh, too thin. 
I was about to say, now we can turn our attention to the yellow on the right-hand side. But that attention will be for, for Sean. Yeah, another quite jarring miss. He's missed it so thin, the cue ball's travelled a huge amount further up the table than he was planning, so much so that Sean can actually pot the one on top side of the eight ball. Doesn't have to, though. He can come down the table first, deal with these. This visit's all about the one on the right-hand side. Yep. That's for absolute certain. And also certain that's not where he was planning to put the cue ball for that shot. Yeah, he can take the one to the top right, roll through, got one left centre, and they, they can all unfold at the top. But when does he come down for the one nearest the centre pocket? Kills it in. Very well controlled cue ball. It looks like that yellow's just below the centre pocket so that he can get on it and not worry too much about going in the centre pocket. Gets on well. it now. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised the, the timing of this one, just simply because getting from this one to the next one to the next one's tricky. Whereas if he cleared one more at the top of the table, it would have been less so. Hell of a pot, mind. Yeah, excellent pot. I suppose he can still put it into the, the area where he played the last one into the left centre pocket. Oh, controlled that so well. Avoids the reds, perfect control off the top cushion. That was better than it looked. I thought rolling through that he was certain to catch a red there. Mm. Let's go around the red again. That's lovely. Very, very good from Sean Chilfields. Super finish, one each. Yeah, worked that one out really well. Took his time as well for the first shot or two to work it out. And then when he had to make the decision on when to go for the one on the right hand side. And once he got the cue ball under control, it was perfection, wasn't it? Yeah. Fabulous. And really intriguing match. You'd probably say of all four players, Sean's been the best so far tonight. Certainly made the least mistakes. He made one in his first frame, has been faultless since. But you've got to win the moments. And you get the sense that this match may well just come down to a moment. Well, it's arguably the best break he's hit tonight. And it's the worst result, dry. But also the split's a little awkward here as well. It might be not might not be the last time Sean comes to the table in this frame. This is, at first glance, this is really difficult. How's the second glance? Let's have a look. Yeah, about the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't inviting. So angle on the one on the left hand side to de deal with the other one on the left hand side. The one that springs to mind for me here is the one right at the top of the table. OK, it does go top left, but there's no great ball to get on it in that pocket. There's a lot going on in this finish. And the eight ball's no picnic either. Awkward queuing as well. No, he's all right, actually. He's played that lovely. Ooh, oh, just got a fraction too far. If that had stopped one roll less, it would have been absolutely ideal because then it's the ball to get on the eight ball. Now it's another problem. Yeah, he's got to go into it again. And that's not easy to do. And he's still got the red at the top of the table to solve. Just wonder if there's going to come a stage where Gareth decides to pull back. <laughs> that's your answer, folks. What a shot. And does he have the angle on this to the middle to maybe do something with the one on the left? It looks a little straight. Yeah, I think he's a touch too straight on it. 
I was actually wondering whether he could play the red off the yellow just to open up the, the pocket for the double. I mean, if he just makes the pot natural, he's easy to connect to another one. Is his plan here to take the one furthest to the right, come back across? Well, he could still clear the path for the double, so he could take the one to the bottom right now, and then the red off the yellow opens up the pocket while staying on the double. That's an option. Or if he wants to, he can just play it straight in the pocket and then screw it across the table, but it looks too straight. He got four is here, Gaz. He fooled me on the last one when we was able to really punch it across. But remember, he needs to punch it across with enough to get the cue ball, sorry, the, the red out. And yeah, that looks the wrong side of straight. He's just lined up the double to the top right. I think that's the plan. That's half a pocket. Well, I'm aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what he's planning. I mean, I'm not telling you I would take it on. <laughs> where else is it going? Maybe the treble, but. I think he is. He has eyed at the W. You are right. Must, maybe there's more room there than it looks, but this is be some shot. It would be some shot, but it's not to be. Just wonder with how that's ended up. If that was almost a percentage choice. No, I think he knows that if he doesn't make it, he's going to lose the frame, or in his mind, he's going to lose the frame, barring something silly from Sean. He can attack here if he wants to. He can play a yellow off a red. The one nearest the right centre pocket, off the red, opens up the one at the top. You can make the case for the loss of turn if there was a good place to hide the white, but there's no guaranteed place because the yellow onto red is so far away from the rest of the yellows. He would, I think he would rather have been straight in on the one that's by his hand than... Oh, now then. Yeah, I was going to say where he is now is exactly where he wants to be on the previous shot. It shouldn't hurt him, though. Well, shouldn't. But you never know. Hitting this red isn't the problem. Well, Can you, you get it moving towards the pocket? Do you hit it a million miles an hour, or do you just touch on it? Just touch on it. Which almost keeps Sean at bay a fraction. I still expect him to be able to get to the position to play the shot we were talking about and yellow off the red. Yeah, I just wonder. That was such an easy hit. I just wonder whether your best chance in winning this frame is a good old hit and hope there. Sean, that's the, the right shot for me. You almost you expect Gareth to hit this. It's almost impossible to pot it. Therefore, it almost does the work of developing that yellow for him. It also comes back to what we were saying before about losing the frame quick. In these 20-minute matches, if you're going to lose a frame, you'd rather lose it super quick. Actually, Sean will be a bit annoyed that Gareth missed it in a strange way. Because he's still got work to do, and it's... It's not like it's a difficult shot, but it's something that can go wrong. Throw it to place off the red to clear the pocket. Job done. <coughs> Job done to a point. Got to go up for that yellow at the top. Sooner rather than later. Yeah. Just... The one ball on the table you couldn't be a last ball was this one. And now he's gone up for it. He's too straight on it, making the next shot tricky. He doesn't want to be leaving a huge amount of angle on the one to the bottom left. Because he wants to land straight into the left centre following it. So if he leaves if he if he screws the cue wall back somewhere short of where he is now he'll have too much angle he'd have to play it in absolutely dead weight and that's not ideal so he's looking to see if he can get to the right hand side of the red but that doesn't look guaranteed either so he screws across to that area and 
it's actually a very, very good shot. Yeah, that's brilliant. It was not easy to get there at all. Now these two yellows in the eight ball notwithstanding, we enter the 15 second shot clock section of the match with Sean Chipperfield in front. You've had easier eight balls though. He's just got there. He just saw Gareth in the background, just about to move. And it dropped. Certainly as wide as he could be and have it fall. Oh, that was tight. Just. Yeah. Only just. Sean's actually a fabulous potter. He's normally pops him, pops him off lampshades and you don't really give too much thought to his pot and you think if he's on it he's going to make it and that one was a wasn't the, the cleanest bit of queuing he's ever had but the result is okay 2-1 four and a half minutes to play is the draw in play let's watch Sean Story will be after great break from Gareth oh that little nudge on the you saw it yeah, that little nudge on the cue ball as it was coming across the table, Gareth stopped in his tracks because the cue ball's tracking to the middle pocket. Watch the cue ball here. It's tracking. Oh, that little nudge. Without that, it's Sean Chipperfield with this layout to go at. 15 seconds already feels very quick. Gareth calls his extension on his first shot. They're all there. It just needs taking apart bit by bit. Helps him if the one he's nearest to now goes top right. Looks like it does. Helps it massively. Now it's just about connecting the dots. When you play the one to right centre, getting on the next ball to get on the one, the last one to get on the eight ball. Not as easy as it sounds. If you can screw across the table and you want to go past the straight, that would be absolutely ideal. He's got the perfect angle. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Well, what were we saying before? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Almost highlights the point. Gareth can't believe it. Cool. It's tough. Yeah. I mean, it's just so tough. Yeah. It's always like when that one, you're never even playing it with huge amount of pace. That was just a sort of delicate screw across the table. A bit of a jolt, one that will really, really hurt as a player. Yeah, it's almost like there's a, there's a certain pace, like a perfect pace. It just encourages it to happen. First time we've seen that in a long, long time as yeah. well. Yeah, agreed. We saw it a few times at the Pro Cup a couple of years ago and Supreme came out and, and solved the problem. Keep yeah, an eye on stage that. It was a bit of an epidemic, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Keep an eye on that as we go forward in the next few frames and tournaments. Anyway, it could be the big difference in tonight. It could be the biggest moment of the whole night. What did we say a few minutes ago? May just come down to a moment. Was that the moment? You feel a little bit sick for Gareth if it was. Well, Sean's played a loose one here. He, he, he could not leave that short or straight. Is he just about straight enough to be able to miss the red? Even then, that's tough to get on the eight ball. He had to had to go past the straight, I think, then to use the left-hand side of the table. What a shot this is. What a shot this is. Oh. Wow. He was in big trouble there, Sean Chipperfield. Big trouble. What a recovery. What a recovery. The reason why he can't push this through is to get close to the eight ball with topspin. He has to play it hard. It throws the cue ball too wide. He's going into the red. The only way he can land on the eight ball there is by playing a full table screw shot. It's why I was saying you have to go past the straight. This is what set that finish up. Watch the pocket. 
rejects yeah. the red ball. Tough to watch that. That's the first time I think we've seen a, a bounce out hurt three players in one go. Sean Story and Shane Thompson also will be deflated to see that happen because mm. essentially that knocks them out unless Gareth can do something miraculous here. Well, a dry break from Sean opens the door. Gareth has one minute and now 10 seconds to clear these reds in the eight ball and he has the next break. It is not outside the realms of possibility this, especially not now. He has previous for this sort of stuff as well. He's going to give himself enough time, you know. Almost doesn't want to rush too much here. Just make sure these two slightly tricky balls. Yeah, no drama. This isn't over yet, folks. It's not over yet. 39 seconds left. And Gareth Potts has the next break. He has been here before. How many times have you seen it now, that magical break and run? Against Jake McCartney a couple of years ago, the quickest we've ever seen. Well, that, He's got more time now. I was about to say that on that occasion, he had 31 seconds and he came up with a 28 second break clearance. This time he has 39 seconds. He will throw everything at this break. And he's ready. He needs a ball. He's not going to get one. He's not going to get one. He's going to concede. Sean Jibberfield takes the win. And he's on the precipice of qualification. Just needs a result in his last match of the night. And Chippy is there.